In this video, we are going to the far southeast part of the Netherlands, very close to the German border. Today, we are going to be exploring the city of Venlo. Hey there, Explorer! Natasha here from The Traveling Foxes. Welcome to another travel vlog. Today, I got invited to an instant meet here in Venlo to meet with fellow creators and photographers here in the Netherlands to explore together this beautiful Dutch city. First, we travel from Amsterdam to Venlo, which is about 2.5 hours by train in a town located right at the Dutch-German border. Venlo! <laughs> it was also my first time to visit the province of Limburg, where some of the oldest Dutch towns are located. Venlo, I learned, has an interesting mix of old and new. As it is situated by the River Maas, Venlo became an important trading city in the Middle Ages, where the Romans once settled. That's why we can see a lot of Roman and Renaissance type architecture here. However, it was badly affected during the World War and most of its bridges and infrastructure were heavily bombed. The mass port of Venlo is now a beautiful and modern part of town, but it has also suffered some recent flooding. Last summer, there was a really bad flood that happened here. You see that? It was fully submerged. You see the statue behind me? When the flood came, it actually went up to his feet. It looked like he was trying to stop the water so that it doesn't flood the city. Nowadays, it's amazing to see the city thriving. With a great variety of shops, cafes, restaurants, and in general, a very lively city center. And take note, we went here on a Sunday, which is pretty unique for smaller cities in Europe. This is my favorite street so far. Legend has it that Napoleon Bonaparte rode through this street and he lost one of his horseshoes. There it is. <laughs> and that is why they call this street the Kaiserstadt, which basically translates Emperor's Street. Since I came here with Visit Venlo, they prepared a really nice program for us in order to fully enjoy and appreciate the best parts of the city. Here's Lauren to give you the highlights of our trip and also some tips for you if you do consider visiting Venlo. Hallo allemaal en welkom in Venlo. Uh, mijn naam is Laura Dame en ik werk voor Venlo Partners. En vandaag mag ik deze groep van Insta Meeting uh, mag ik vandaag rondleiden door Venlo. Venlo is een hele grote stad, maar is niet echt een stad wat veel mensen eigenlijk kennen. En dat is juist het leuke om juist die highlights te laten zien in Venlo. Het eerste zijn we begonnen op uh, Maaspoort in het Scheutenterras. Daar hebben we lekker geluncht. Daarna zijn we verder gegaan naar de Maasboulevard. Wat ook zeker een highlight is in Venlo. Daarna zijn we verder gegaan naar het Romerhuis. Het is ook een super mooi historisch en architectuurgebouw. Daarna zijn we verder gegaan naar het Stadhuis. Daar zag je ook echt in terug dat het, wij mochten als enige naar binnen. Dus dat maakt het ook extra leuk. We are inside the old state house, the Stadhuis. This is where they hold important meetings. See over there, picture of the royal family. Cool. Daarna zijn we nog naar Grensweg geweest, de poppodium van Venlo. En daarna zijn we nog naar de twee museum geweest, musea geweest van Bommel van Dam. En Limburgs Museum. Dus dat zijn eigenlijk wel de bekendste musea hier in Venlo. Dus uh, dat was ook zeker leuk en zeker het bezoeken, bezoeken waard. Daarna hadden we een rondleiding bij Mr. Jigs. Uh, dit is een hotel gelegen in Venlo uh, met een eigen unieke concept. Dus dat was ook zeker super leuk. Uh, en nu zijn we hier bij Mout uh, geëindigd. Dus hebben we lekker goed, uh, lekker eten gehad. Dus uh, zeker een goede afsluiting. Hey, nice to see you. Lekker. <laughs> oh, fuck, like. Cheers! 
<laughs> yes, super look. Venlo was definitely full of surprises for me. And if you haven't visited yet, well, this is your sign. I also had a lot of fun with fellow creators and even local Dutchies who are as enthusiastic as me to learn more about the city. So my name is Groucho. I'm from Amsterdam. Uh, I work as a mental health counselor. So you're a mental health um, professional, but you're also a photographer. Yes, true. My Instagram account is about architecture. I knew it was along the river called the Maas and I knew this is a very old part of the country. Little surprises the town has to offer. It has some ancient history, it has some modern new things to do, it has really nice ice cream. It got really friendly people. If you're on your way to the southern part of Holland, I would definitely uh, recommend you to stop by for drinks and bites here in Venlo. Queen Natasha of Venlo. <laughs> so that was definitely a lot to cover in one day. I kind of wish that I stayed overnight so we didn't have to rush and we had more time to explore the city of Venlo and even some of the other parts of the Limburg region. I think it's a really fascinating part of the Netherlands. So if you haven't subscribed to the Traveling Foxes yet, please do and hit that notification bell button so you can get updated on our next travel vlogs. I post every Thursday mostly about my travels in and around the Netherlands and Europe and sometimes my life here as an expat. For now, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog about Menlo and I'll catch you guys again soon in the next video. Doei! Ter, reminds me of Game of Thrones actually. <laughs>